Good afternoon, Terrell here. In this video, I'm just gonna show you a, it's gonna be a very quick video on how to adjust lifters in a natural aspirated Subaru. For this video, I'm going to be doing the driver's side. You need to pull off your 10 here, 10 down there, 10 here, 10 down there, 10 there, 10 there, and then pull this uh, vacuum port off. And once those are all off, you're just gonna pull the valve cover out and up. And if it doesn't fit that way, you need to take the two motor mount nuts off lift the motor up a little bit and then take the valve cover off. To get this side off, I had to physically push the engine like that, lift it up a little bit off the motor mounts and then obviously it's out. So now all you're gonna be checking is clearance on these guys, but you need to make sure you turn the crank so these things are loose. So I'm gonna have to turn this a little bit until these things are actually loose. So on this side, you should physically be able to move them up and down make a little bit of noise there. And then I will throw a measurement in there. So as I'm looking right here, I can see these back ones are loose enough and you can physically, or you can hear it. They kind of tap. And then the back one, that's got a lot of play. So these two I can adjust right now, need to be at seven thousandths. And then the bottom ones, these two are, two, are, oh, you can see the movement on camera a little bit. That means these two I can adjust. These two are too tight. So I'll have to adjust these, adjust those, and then I'm gonna turn it over a little bit so these things get loose and they're not being, you know, not pushing down the valve currently. And then we'll get this all adjusted correctly and then do a fresh start and see how it sounds. All right, I'm gonna try to show you the best I can on camera. This is 0 .007. And look, it goes in there too easily. So I'm gonna have to loosen this nut right here and then tighten this Phillips, or this flathead just a little bit so that it's a little tighter. And then I'll tighten this nut again. That's all you do. I'm gonna do it off camera. I, I adjusted them. I had one, two, three, four, I think six that were loose and one was too tight. I went and adjusted them. You just break the loose and then tighten it to your right on the mark of your feeler gauge. And then you tighten the nut and make sure the feeler gauge slides in and out. And then I'm putting the valve cover back in now. She, she, I just got her back in. I had to move the engine like that again. Got her in, made sure the valve cover gasket didn't come off. So I put all six bolts back in, tighten it down, put the spark plug hole in there and there, and then put the pipe back on top. When you do this job, you always wanna make sure you top off the oil because you're gonna lose a little bit. Just obviously check to make sure you're not too low and then go ahead and start it. I'm gonna go ahead and start it on my own and let's see how much better this thing sounds now. I do want to add in real quick that it is a little bit loud on camera. It's also echoey in my garage, but it does sound better in person and uh, I'm just going to adjust the other side and it should be golden. Listen to this baby purr now. Nice and quiet. That's how it's supposed to sound. Ah, thank you for watching this. Uh, if you like this, thumbs up. It's a quick little video.